For today's video, we're going to use the alt account that I created yesterday. I created this account primarily to try to advertise for my YouTube channel with the player name, obviously. And yesterday it was a zero account uh, in the morning. And by the evening, I'd gotten to the pro rating of 1017. And the bag that I have on the account, you'll see in a minute here, is primarily purchased discs. There were a few that I earned through Challenge the Valley, but uh, I thought that it might be interesting to show what you can do if you're willing to spend a little bit of money. And I think I spent like 40 bucks. So uh, we're going to take a quick look at the bag here and I'll show you which ones that I purchased. So uh, this bag, the main bag now, Everything but the fuse and the musket was purchased. And, you know, it really goes to show you can put a pretty good bag together. And I did this already in another video, but it still amazes me. I mean, that Glide Skip Blister Pro, there were there were guys that went hundreds of level ups uh, a year plus ago without seeing that thing. So you can buy it for six bucks now. So anyway, uh, the... Fuse and the musket were, like I said, Challenge the Valley rewards. And I have some utility discs that I also got in Challenge the Valley. Uh, but most of the, what you're seeing here was purchased disc. And so let's take a look at uh, the Challenge the Valley. I'm going to do Oak Hill. And we're going to see if we can get a three-star using this purchased primarily purchased bag so starting out a hole one we're going to go with the glide skip blister pro and this actually works better than the rive the rive is actually a little too much for this hole anymore with the backhand anyway uh, so very nice start here Always good to start with the eagle. Now this hole I normally run with the musket. And I was tempted to, but you can be left with a 90, 100 foot comebacker. And uh, so for the three star, uh, we don't really need it. So I just lay it up with the warship. We'll just take the birdie and move on. And here we're going to use the Glide Skip Ballista Pro. Going to aim for that tree, give it a little bit of hyzer still. Just try to stay to the right. And with this wind, it really is helping this Ballista Pro. That's, that's a very nice drive. I, I'll take that eight days a week. Another eagle, good start. And here we're going to go with the glide roll rive on a roller. You can also go forehand with the Ballista Pro, certainly the rive glide skip. But I've been doing the roller for so long, I just keep doing it. And it's usually within circle one. It looks like this one will be also. I think I'm going to have a putt. And that's the pure that I'm using. Uh, I think that was a level up reward from yesterday. And here with this win, we're going to go with the glide roll rive. That is an awesome disc. I still can't believe you can just purchase that disc anymore <laughs> i think i went a, i went a hundred level ups before i got that disc uh when rives came out so it was the last one i needed so it's uh pretty amazing you can just buy it now uh and here uh with this win we could go all air if we had the rive i'm not sure about the blister pro light glide though so we're just going to take the musket and lay up over this hill 
should be left at about 120 footer for a throw in. And then we're going to take the accurate windbreak fuse for this throw in. And this does play just slightly downhill. And with the one wind, it's not going to influence matters much. Still a little bit of a touchy throw in. I always take my time on that one. And here we're going to go with the Glide Skip Recoil which is another purchase disc, comes with the tournament pack, and you also get an extra bag slot, so that's a pretty good deal. And that is a disc that I have in my main bag that uh, went in when I bought it and has never come out. A lot of guys like the uh, Windbreak Glide version, and that's a great disc also. I've just gotten used to the Glide Skip. I use it on a ton of holes. So... Uh, a little bit of a tester, 80 foot, not bad there with the one wind. Going with the fuse here. And just checking the wind. Just over the bottom basket. Looking real good so far. And here I was thinking, I usually go forehand with the Glide Skip Rive, but I think that the Ballista Pro is going to struggle with the forehand. And then I decided to just go with it anyway. I'm, you can, I'm still thinking, I'm doing a voiceover on this, by the way, if you didn't realize it. And yeah. It struggled. And I was thinking, just please stay on the hill. No, nope, it's going to roll down the hill. So, oh well. The Eagle train has stopped, pulled into the station. Now we're on the birdie bus. That's about a 40 foot hill, so that plays probably 230 with a three headwind. Uh, the fuse isn't going to get there, I don't think. And it doesn't yeah but I didn't want to go I didn't want to disc up because I don't want to go way past the basket at least take the birdie and walk away should have went with my gut and gone back in there this is a really easy boring birdie anyway with the musket just drop down this hill and it uh, usually is just a tap in even And that should be a three star. I don't even remember what the three star is actually on this one. But oh yeah, that was well well under the three star. And there's the reward. So alright, well hope you learned something and we'll see you around the valley.